there's only one tree hill, and boy do we miss it. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 One Tree Hill moments. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the most memorable moments from the iconic teen drama. If you haven't caught up with all nine seasons yet, beware the following spoilers. Number 10, Lucas and Peyton's Wedding. Peyton, I have loved you since the first time I saw you. So many events almost got in the way of this wedding, including Lucas's wedding to another woman, which was called off at the last minute. I'm sorry, Lucas. I can't marry you. Upon finding out they were having a baby, but that the pregnancy might kill Peyton, they moved up the wedding. Just in time, might we add, because as soon as they got home after the reception, Peyton collapsed into a coma as a result of a complication. And I'm just afraid that we're gonna lose you and it's just gonna be the two of us. Both mother and baby were fine in the end, the wedding was beautiful, and according to the other characters in the final season, Leighton lived happily ever after. Number 9. Psycho Derek Kidnaps Peyton After Peyton started posting videos online, she, no surprise there, found herself an internet stalker. Not long after, her long-lost half-brother came into her life. Hi, I'm Derek. I guess I'm your brother. But because this is Tree Hill, her so-called brother was actually said stalker, an imposter who was obsessed with her because she looked like his deceased ex-girlfriend. He ended up holding her and Brooke hostage in her own home on prom night. And even though they were still fighting over Nathan and Brooke's sex tape, the girls worked together to outsmart Psycho Derek, real name Ian Banks. Maybe now that he's in jail, he can deal with the demons from his past instead of kidnapping strangers. Number 8. Brooke vs. Xavier Xavier had us screaming at our TVs in frustration. Have a nice night. Not only did he attack Brooke in her own store and cause the confident girl we all know and love to become broken and afraid. Try to be a good person and bad stuff happens anyway. But he also killed Quentin Fields. No one realized until much later that the two incidents were related. But Xavier was responsible for so much grief in Tree Hill. He even held his own brother and Brooke's foster daughter hostage. But luckily, Brooke saved the day, and viewers got the satisfaction of watching her hold him at gunpoint. You have a nice night. After serving time, he came back with a vengeance, but Brooke just beat him again. Number 7. Lucas Chooses Peyton Four seasons of Will They Won't They led up to this moment when Lucas and Peyton finally become official. A part of Lucas had always been in love with her. But over the seasons, he'd also had an on and off relationship with Brooke and dated other girls as well. After he and Brooke ended things for good, he finally realized the person he wanted by his side at the end of the day was Peyton. This is exactly what he tells her before they kiss in the middle of the basketball court after winning their championship game. It's you. What? When all my dreams come true, the one I want next to me. It's you. It's you, baby. Number 6. Nanny Carrie Kidnaps Jamie After Nanny Carrie, we would think twice about letting someone else look after our kids. I wish you were my little boy. I always will. Not only did Carrie express obvious feelings for Nathan, but she also became obsessed with Jamie, to the point that she kidnapped him during a wedding and tried to dye his hair. I'm gonna be your mama now. She almost got away with it too, but Dan of all people caught her red-handed. I killed my brother in cold blood. I'd have no problem killing you. She later gets revenge by kidnapping Dan. But this time her plans were foiled by Jamie, Haley, Deb, and a bottle of wine. I guess there's more than one crazy nanny in this town. We almost feel bad for her. Almost. <laughs> Number 5. Series Finale Fans were obviously sad to see the show go, 
But at least the drama, which lasted nine seasons, got a well-deserved send-off. There's only one tree hill, Jamie Scott. And it's your home. Gavin DeGraw performs at Trick's 10th anniversary, prompting characters to sing along to their own theme song. And once again, we saw the series jump ahead in the future, this time by five years, and all of our favorites were happy and headed off together to Jamie's basketball game, where he's shown to be an even better player than Nathan or Lucas. Basketball was what brought the characters together in the first place, and it was nice to know it would keep them together through adulthood. Number 4. Nathan and Lucas play each other for the first time Despite all the drama, at its core this was a show about basketball. And one thing that estranged half-brothers Nathan and Lucas had in common was that they were both really good at it. Hey, you know, um, Lucas plays. Lucas? Oh. Oh, Dan's other son. However, Nathan was a star player on the high school team, and Lucas played on the town's tiny court with his friends. At the end of the pilot episode, the boys play each other to decide whether Lucas will join the school team since they're in need of new players. If I win, you crawl back in your little hole and you remember your place in all this. Lucas wins, and it sparks the beginning of a great rivalry first, an equally great friendship later on, and eventually brotherhood. Let's do this, little buddy. Number 3. The Limo Goes Over the Bridge one Tree Hill is a show that proves time and time again how good it is at creating epic cliffhangers. This one in particular involved a drunken Rachel and Nathan's Uncle Cooper crashing the limo over a bridge during Nathan and Haley's wedding. Nathan jumped in after them and never came back up. I love you. The episode ended with Haley screaming for him from the bridge, with a final shot of the famous Naily bracelet floating on the water. Of course, everyone ended up surviving, though Cooper spent some time in a coma. But still, that ending was brutal. Oh, God! Help me! Uh, Haley! Number two, Haley gets hit by a car and Lucas's heart stops. The only good thing that came from this basketball game, besides the team winning, was Lucas and Peyton getting together. Otherwise, the rest of the night was kind of crazy. It all started with Nathan making a deal with some thugs to lose the championship game. Here's my final tip to you. Lose that game. So when he didn't, they retaliated by running Haley over right after she told Nathan their baby is a boy. It's a boy, Nathan. Look at that son. She and her baby were fine in the end, but her accident caused Lucas to go into cardiac arrest. Further still, Nathan beats the guy who hit her to death though Dan ends up taking the fall for it to protect him. Haley needs you, Nathan. Your child needs you. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Why are you a cheerleader? I mean, no offense or anything, but you're about the least cheery person I know. The difference? The difference is I love you, Brooke. I want to be with you, not Peyton. Number 1. Dan Kills Keith The name Dan Scott is one that inspired hatred in characters and viewers alike. But he somehow also became one of TV's most likable villains over the seasons. Checking the yellow pages under W for whore. No, wait, she's not that bright. You better check under rage. However, the one thing he will never be forgiven for is for killing his brother Keith in cold blood in the aftermath of the school shooting. Dan was always jealous of Keith, mainly because everyone liked him better. And people were drawn to Keith, and I hated him for it. Even his own son looked at Keith as a father figure. So Dan was a piece of work. But let's be honest, who didn't shed some tears when Keith welcomed Dan with open arms to the afterlife after the younger Scott dies in one of the series' last episodes? Come on, little brother. Take a walk with me. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.